Hi, the Madison family. How are you? As you can tell, I uploaded a video with Greg on our questionnaire, our last one, and um, 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 um you know, Jesus calling. That was an hour, but I want to sponsor somebody in this video. Even though I'm not really sponsored, but it's people that I love and like, you know, not like people that I love, but they own a business and I mean, they are amazing. I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't stop going there. I would, you know, continue. If anybody knows anything different about me, comment down below. But if you don't, um, stop at this part when you hear... Like, stop at the part where I say, if you know anything different about me, and comment then, and then keep on playing if you want to find out. I cut my, well, I got my hair cut, highlighted, I love it, so soft and so silky and like, you know, you know, but anyway, get off my hair for a second. You go go out and love her hair for a birthday and like, you know, let's see. Like, I was born at 3.23 a.m., but my mom told me 3.15 a.m., so she basically lied. But whatever. But, um, we will show these here in a minute. But, um, yeah. Just, I'm filming a YouTube video, so, so like, just shut it a little bit. I am. Sorry guys, Greg was talking, he was like whispering to me, you guys, you know, like trying to figure out like, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah. So, I want to sponsor, let's just get to this. I want to sponsor Discovery Writers. Why? Because one of them watches me and her name is Sarah McDivitt. Hi Sarah, how are you? Love you, girly. Hi, Rochelle. I doubt you see this, but if Sarah showed me, um, you my videos and you're cool, you will subscribe too. So, hi. Love you too. By the way, don't tell anybody, but you two are my faves at, like, the, at the building. So, yeah. Shh. But, Rochelle, you're first. Ha, ha, ha Sarah. But, anyways. I would love to sponsor them, even though this is not a sponsored video. But Sarah, if you can, work it in with one of your bosses that work there now, I guess. Or something, and see if, like, they would sponsor me, since I'm, like, your client, I guess. So, yeah. See if you can sponsor me. The girl, I'd love to, like, you know, people to see me more, you know. Sorry. My computer froze. Sometimes it does that. I mean, it's new, but, you know, like, since I film a lot of videos, I got a lot of screenshots of, like... And, or, like, um, Amazon stuff that I want, you know, for Christmas, Easter, birthdays, you know, etc. Um, yeah. So, that's that. And, by the way, Discovery Writers does not work with regular people. And what I mean by regular people is not just, like, people that can walk on their legs. No offense to all you people out there either. But... And it's only for, like, disabilities. So, like, with me, with my CP, I have to have sidewalkers. They have a great amount. I asked her today, because she doesn't know I was filming this video, but that's why. Um, but they do have, like, a great amount to where, like, a great amount of them have to have sidewalkers. I don't know the names, because I don't share that info. But tell them I sent you if you decide to go. Um, but, um... Yeah, they do have that, and then they have some that don't need sidewalkers, but that just depends. But it's all disab different disabilities. You can, you, the kid or the adult, it goes up to adults, I think. I do believe, I'm not for sure, but I think so. Um, but it goes up to four years in age, well, to up, so they gotta be four years old at least. Um, I will link where it is. It's in Bell Fountain, Ohio. Just type in Discovery Riders and it should be pop up right there, like the phone number and stuff. I'm not going to link it, but just type that in Google and you'll find it. But today we have 
through very special books that I got from my aunt's house. Well, somebody got for me, so I have them now. But I only have three of them. I need two more, so five of them. But I have the Brave Girls Better Than Perfect, and I'll link it down below. And if you have not checked out my other video, there is the four links to my Jesus Calling plus these because I recommended some of them. And then there's your God's Girl. So if you like Christian like videos, you'll be seeing like you know more readings of this soon. Um, the person that makes it I can't pronounce her name, but her last name is Pitts. Rest in peace. She died of like a heart attack, I do believe, or something like that. Cause I searched it up on Google, and it says she passed away in like I think 2018, so two years ago. But I didn't know that because last time I looked at her, she was alive. But this is the same look. By the same lady. Just different picture here. So, um. I think I'm going to. Whoop. Mm, I don't think we'll go with that one tonight. Um, I don't know. And by the way, this book is for tweens and I was around a tween when I got it but it don't matter what age you are really I don't think I mean it's based off of that but and there's short and long ones there's a start here and then there's you know go on Okay, well, I'm going to read a short one because I don't want to, like, read a super long one, you know. I don't know when this will be getting up, right? But, I don't know when this will be getting up. Um, because it's uh, August 20th right now, a day before my birthday, so, yeah. Um, so by the time you see this, I'm going to be 15. I don't know. But I'm going to plug my computer in, I can tell you that much. It's getting kind of low here. Oh my gosh. Sorry if you see my armpit hair, I haven't shaved for a while. I know it's gross, but like, you know, you know, quarantine. I just don't care. Um, but I should. What is faith? And, but I shave my legs. Just not in the winter. A flag, girls. Do not shave your legs in the winter or else you're going to freeze. What is faith? And why do I need it? Peter walked on water. I know the world has a lot of Peters in it, but just so clear. The one I'm talking about. Is the one of Jesus' disciples. And the only one Peter who's ever walked on water. Have you ever walked on water? I don't think so. Me neither. If you know anything about water, it may be, be hard to believe that Peter actually walked on it. But you can believe it because it's true. Lord, if you, if it's you, Peter, tell me to come. You on the water, come, he said. Then Peter got down on the boat and walked to the water towards Jesus. Matthew fourteen twenty twenty nine. So, wait, are you actually thinking what I'm thinking? Not only did Peter walk on water, but it was his idea. Yes, exactly what this, this scripture is saying. Peter asked Jesus to help him walk on water, and Jesus did it. Wow, can you believe that? Peter knew a lot about water. Bible tells us Peter was a fisherman who spent a lot of time and around. Well, I guess this is kind of long. Water. Yet, he was not afraid to ask God what in possibilities he believed God could do it, even if he, it didn't make sense to him. In other words, Peter was a man of crazy faith. Having faith in God means you believe he can do something. Even if you don't see him or always understand what he may be doing. So let me ask you a question. Do you have crazy faith? Have you asked God to do something impossible? Did he do it? It can be really hard to understand, but what it means to have faith 
but think about Peter. Having faith means you do not do things only based on what you know is possible, but you look to Jesus and believe he can do much more than what it seems possible. What do you think the disciples in the boat were thinking when they heard Peter strain request? They probably thought he was crazy, right? But Peter believed Jesus could help him on water, even though it was a totally crazy idea. No one walks on water unless God is in control, but always remember Jesus wants you to have faith in him. You also have to remember Jesus wants the best for you, even though he may not do exactly what you're telling him for you. Do you still have faith in him because he will always do his best for your life and you can believe that. So there's like a little short one that like, you know, I'm going to see if there's any short ones in this, but I doubt it. Oh yeah, this one right here. Prayer card. Something our mind wanders off track when we pray to keep focused. Prayer cards really help make a each card for each person want to step, pray for them, list a Bible verse for each person and list a personal prayer request. You know, a person has each day to choose one or two of those cards and talk about God, God about you, their list of their prayer buddy. Find a friend who's comfortably talking or comfortably talking to God to pick a time to sit together after a while you can learn for an hour how to pray while you go walk and play. Mm, okay. Prayer points. That's what it says. God, I'm thankful you are you are always remember, listening to my prayer. Please help me always remember to turn with my needs of desires. Okay. So like they that's just kind of like telling you that you could do that. That's not really a prayer, but it counts, right? Yep. I think so. And then this, if you can read the back of this, which I doubt you can, but there you go. But yeah, I'm not going to like read all the other ones. I'm sorry. They're kind of been, I've had them for quite a bit, but. Thanks to my aunt's landscape guy, Tim. He knows. I kind of like reading. I mean, it's not my favorite thing. I'd rather li listen to, him, like, an audiobook and not spend hours and hours. But, you know, if you don't want to read, like, Jesus Calling and I want to switch up my content, this is how we're going to do it. Plus, I know you guys like book reads. And, I mean, it might not be these type of book reads, but that's what I personally love to, you know, read. Because, you know what? People say you have to go to church to believe in God, but listen to me, you don't have to, as long as you read something like this, I mean, you could skip a day because you're sick, or, you know, you just need a break to rewind, think about it for yourself, but think about him as you're doing it, because then he knows, like, she's still, you know, here, she's still here. Like, you don't have to, like, go to church. People say you do, but you don't. As long as you believe in God, you're good. But if you don't, then that's your problem. But I don't know what's wrong with you if you don't. But bye. I love you guys.